Hey there guys, so I hope that this will be a very short video because I just wanted to give you a quick update that I bought the Omega Telescope and only after I made the order uh, I went to the Cloudy Nights forum and asked uh, if this scope is actually any good and uh, I got a bunch of different opinions so I'm starting to wonder if I maybe made a mistake <laughs> Okay, so I'll be talking about uh, different telescopes uh, and their properties because uh, I think that there's enough videos on YouTube uh, where you can learn everything you need to know about telescopes. That's why I will just spend a few minutes to go over this one. So first let me mention the specs. It's an achromatic refractor, 500 mm focal length, 90 mm aperture, f5.5, 90 mm of aperture, f5.5, yes. Everything is fine. It's an achromatic refractor, 500 mm of focal length, 90 mm of aperture, f5.5. It weighs 2.2 kilograms and it costs 200 bucks. So it's a very cheap scope with uh, fast optics and uh, that's why I bought it. And the cheap refractors like this uh, usually suffer from a heavy uh, chromatic aberration. This is where you get the weird uh, fringing uh, around the corners or in astrophotography around the stars and this is just because the different uh, color wavelengths don't meet uh, at the same point but I know a few ways I could fix this in processing so that's why I decided uh, to take a chance because it's really so cheap so if uh, everything goes wrong I will just uh, keep it uh, for visual astronomy and luckily I had a small window of uh, clear skies yesterday so I took a few pictures mainly to compare them and I will show them in a minute but uh, I started to work on my next project, uh, which is the Rosette Nebula and I took uh, 900 second exposures uh, and barely saw any detail in the images so while my sequence was running, uh, I browsed to the site where I usually buy all of my gear and uh, this is where I stumbled upon this scope so as soon as I saw the specifications and uh, the cheap price, I just uh, ordered it so I will pull up the 900 second exposures uh, taken with my Wixen telescope and this is a stack of five images so they are very noisy and next to it is a stack of three 300 second exposures taken with the Omega telescope so the difference is quite dramatic and if you take a look at the size of the stars uh, you will see the issue with the Omega telescope but uh, other than that the signal is much higher on a shorter exposure and the image overall is uh, a lot more sharper and again both of those images are very noisy and they are not uh, calibrated so that affects the, what you see right now so at this moment I still don't know if I made a mistake but I think I'll have some fun with this scope in the next few days uh, if uh, the weather forecast uh, holds its promise but visually the scope looks uh, very freemium it's uh, all metal and I have to say that the lens uh, came in a pristine condition there was not a speckle of dust on it so that was a big plus for me and it came with a very nice bag but I think that that's about it what I'm going to say about this scope for now and I'll rather share a few thoughts on it in the next video where I'll take it for a spin like I mentioned I just wanted to give you a quick update and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section and I would like to thank you for watching and see you again next time take care guys bye